Good day everybody, this is Nihon Tiger and welcome back to another episode of Nihon Tiger on Neocraft. This is episode 37. It's been a little while since I've recorded an episode because as you've seen I've been up to a lot of different things lately and oh, I have a little gift here. Uh, need these for your bridge. Oh, Xenoflex left us a... I think he left us... yeah. Whole chest full of cobblestone. Oh, sounds are down a little bit so let me that back up for you. Alright, I knew I would forget something. Yep. There we go. So, uh, today it is thanks, uh, it's gonna be Thanksgiving soonish. I'm probably recording this a little bit ahead of time, but I wanted to make sure I had an episode out for Thanksgiving. It's been a couple, like I said, it's been a couple weeks since uh, I've recorded something because I've been working on various projects. The, the prison build for uh, Tip Tuner's uh, contest on the fan server. Let me just make sure I got everything I want here. Yeah. Um, okay, I got everything I want. Um, for the walk. And what else has been going on? Oh, I've got a couple videos for other series that I've done, which are in the process of being edited, put together, etc. And those will be out soonish. I'm actually going to be doing um, a new ish. Uh, really a new-ish series, but I'm rebranding some stuff. Let me grab these eggs. Because I can. Okay. <laughs> um, oh. Oh, chickens. You guys are really producing today. But, um, the UHC stuff on my channel is not going to be a separate series of sorts, kind of overarching umbrella. I'm calling UHC Adventures. And it may end up also including some of the PvP stuff I do. I don't know yet if I'm going to split that out or not. But I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. Um, in any case. So, today's goal. Today is... When this video goes up, actually, today is going to be pretty close to Thanksgiving. It should be tomorrow I'm recording. Like I said, I'm recording this a little bit ahead of time, so... What's missing? Hmm. I have to replace that, but I'm recording it a little bit of ahead of time, so it's not quite actually Thanksgiving, but massacre. It's Thanksgiving, and uh, you know, here in the U.S. at least, Canadian Thanksgiving's already happened. So I thought I would share a little bit with uh, my server mates here, and we're gonna go leave ourselves a little bit of a surprise at spawn. So we're just gonna walk out to spawn here. And I, I didn't build all this. Someone else built this to their minds. I just hijacked it because they're not using it anymore. But uh, in any case, we're going to walk on out to spawn here. And I guess we could talk a little bit about... Well, Thanksgiving's coming up, so there's a lot that I'm kind of thankful for. You know, there's plenty to be thankful for just in general you know health and friends and being able to have a game like this and people who watch my videos and just a lot of little stuff really um like i said there's a lot of little stuff that oh, push house is that way that's right um but there's a lot of little stuff you could sometimes take for granted because it just is so mundane and everyday like you know like your health and having a job and things like that because you're so used to it that it doesn't seem like, you know, it just seems natural and a lot of people, I guess that's one thing that I'm thankful for is I have all these things because I know a lot of people aren't so lucky and, you know, it's, it's something to have, it's something to have that kind of luck to have, to have those things because you know, not, not everyone in the world wakes up and has a bunch of food in their, their fridge. Some people don't even have a fridge, you know. Or they can't afford one or they can't afford the electricity or whatnot because there's a lot of places in the world that really, really are kind of dirt poor, unfortunately. And it sucks because it shouldn't be happening. But I'm probably going to stop there before I start getting on the political rant. But, um... Yeah, so I would say, you know, with Thanksgiving coming around, 
especially with Christmas coming around, the holidays and winter and whatnot. It's going to be really cold probably this winter to make up for last year. So, you know, if you know someone who's a lot less fortunate than you, or if you if you know of charitable groups in your community that would benefit from a donation, be it food or money or manpower or whatever, you know, volunteer manpower, I guess, or whatever you can possibly uh, wrestle up, I would say please, please remember all those people because I know a lot of times we do a lot of, you know, ch uh, child's play stuff like the like the fan servers right now, Mancrack fan server is doing a kind of a, um, a charity thing for uh, child's play and a lot of the streamers when they do, you know, streaming stuff, they do it for child's play because hey, video games and whatnot, and that's always a good thing, right? And yeah, child's play is great. Um, always, the problem is everybody does child's play stuff, so, you know, there's no, there's no really want of not having enough child's play donors or donations. It's, the thing I notice, everything else kind of does get lost in the shuffle. And I think that's something that if I start doing charity stuff, I don't know how much child's play stuff I'm gonna do, because there's a lot of other people that they you know they do they do stuff for that and it's great, but there's so many other charities, so many other people that could use money just besides the kids in the hospitals. Um, there, you know, there's people who don't have enough food to eat, and there's people who don't have shelter over their house or maybe they're they're homeless and you know they just they just want this is the way to go yeah yeah it goes way but you know maybe they're homeless and they just need you know a good meal or something like that so I always think if you're gonna donate don't just donate to you know whatever the popular things are to donate to because that's that's something that can always be taken care of by others um, make sure you're helping out in your communities too like there's always always something you can donate time to or a little bit of money or you know resources whatever to you know locally we have a I know we have a homeless shelter here in town that uh, you know even in town of 40,000 people you got you have homeless people you know and you want to make sure that these people have a place to stay during the winter that you know that kids can have a good Christmas you know if they're not so fortunate uh, so yeah um, when you think about it, I guess this Thanksgiving, I guess my wish for you guys is not only to have a good Thanksgiving, but think about everyone who's less fortunate. Think about the people who, you know, beyond just the kids in the hospitals, I could use your help, but the people who are out in the streets, the people who may not have, you know, they might not have a big Thanksgiving feast this year because they got laid off and they can't afford it, or you know, they might not have a, a place to have a feast at because they're staying at, you know, they're staying at someone's house and I'm just trying to find a spot here. And they, they're just, they just can't afford it because maybe they are living in their cars or something like that, you know. There's always, always someone and something that could be, could be helped. And so I always encourage people and I encourage you guys who are watching uh, don't just donate to one cause. Donate to a lot of causes. There's lots of things to be passionate about, and one of them is I'll put it here. But one thing that I'm kind of passionate about because uh, I wear glasses and whatnot is there's some groups out there that will do uh, advocacy for eyesight in like third world countries, where they'll do. I guess you could say um, they'll help people get glasses and th things like that who can't afford them. Because trust me, uh, if you have if you have crappy eyesight, that's going to be detrimental not only to you know educational stuff, but just to everything in the r uh, real world. Trying to you know, work and everything else when you grow up, and you know if you don't catch eye problems when you're little that's something that can definitely have an impact so happy thanksgiving and food for all
take one only, please. Let me, actually, let me, yeah, I want to go up, do that one up here, like that. But yeah, I, I think there's, there's lots of great things out there in the world that are worth donating and fighting for, so please, as I, as I just said, please remember, oh, don't do that. Please remember when you're thinking about donating, not just don't just think about doing child's play. Um, child's play is great, and you should you should help out with that. But please remember that there's a lot of great causes to donate to, and donate a little bit to all, to whatever you can, whatever you feel passionate about. If there's something that you really think is a great idea, you know, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and donate to that. Um, and that's something I wish, I guess I wish more streaming people would, would do, is to do more, do more stuff like that. Uh, do more donation drives for everything else besides Child's Play. I know, I know I'm going to sound like a bit of a, a jerk here. Like I'm saying don't donate to Child's Play. Donate to Child's Play, absolutely. You know, helping kids out in hospitals is a great thing, but just, I guess the thing I'm just trying to say is... Always remember that there's other people who are desperately in need of help too, like the American Red Cross. That's the that's actually what the uh, I'm sorry, that's what the I'm trying to remember what it, they were donating to, but I think the if I remember right, I think the the Minecraft fan server one is to the Red Cross, but that's something they could use some help, especially with the uh, stuff going out uh, stuff going on on the East Coast with. Uh, Hurricane Sandy that came through. There's a lot of people out there who, you know, Child's Play is great, but that's not going to help those people that lost their houses and they lost, you know, they lost everything. A lot of those people, especially on Staten Island and the Jersey Shore, they lost everything. And not all of those people are super rich people who live out there. There's a lot of working class people. A lot of people who were probably just getting by on, you know, a couple of paychecks. Maybe they only had couple thousand in savings because they were spending money trying to pay back debt or trying to uh, actually let me go back I gotta get a screenshot for the, the thread but you know that's that's something I would advocate donating to as well um, and I'll probably put a link I'll put a link in the video both to the uh, both to the Red Cross stuff and the, the fan server thing that they're doing and Child's Play and like everything else that's going on. So let me see if I can't. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> Great. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. So, um, yeah, always keep in mind that you know there's always there's always need out there, and this is the perfect time of year to remember that to be thankful for what you've got. And to be thankful for, oh, I eat. Oh, I have I have pumpkin, don't I? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna eat some pumpkin pie. <laughs> that is great. I love that. Um, but to be thankful for what you've got, and remember that other people out there in the world are very much in need. And yeah, like I mentioned, there's a lot to be thankful for. I'm thankful for you guys who watch my. Uh, you guys who watch my videos, I'm very thankful for that. I mean, cause I would I would do these videos even if you weren't watching them. <laughs> but oh, my, I got a little congregation going on here. Hey guys. Um, but hey, happy Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, that's you know that's something I'm thankful for. That I have people who you know, like my videos enough that they come back and watch them again and again or they at least try to keep up with what's going on. So that's something that I think I think I'm thankful for and I think I'm thankful for you know, like I said, a lot of things, you know, having a roof over my head and I don't I don't look down on the fact that sometimes I do get lucky. Sometimes you know, sometimes the ball does bounce your way and 
like two years ago I was in a very very rough spot in my life I was you know I'd, it actually it was two, two years ago this July um, was when I started at my new job and before that I had I'd really hated what I was doing for you know work and I'll talk about that in a sec um, but I was trying to you know find a I can put that back um, trying to find a way to I guess you could say to get out of the industry I was working at I didn't even want to do anything related to it I was pretty much burnt out I pretty much did not care and I was like screw it I'm gonna go work for the government or I'm gonna go and be a freelancer or something because I can't handle this anymore and I had been applying for for jobs for some time just trying to find something desperately trying to get out of where I was working at and lo and behold I got I applied for a job Two, about two years ago I applied for a job I didn't get it because they went with someone internally but they opened that opened up another job position and they offered me that one I took them up on it and it was basically it was the same thing I was already doing but with a better work environment and you know I've been working at it and two years later uh, you know actually just over two years and a couple months later in December I am actually going to be taking over the job that I had originally applied for two years ago if you can, if you can believe that um, yeah it's gonna be interesting so I'm I'm awfully thankful that you know I ended up here because now I'm gonna be doing something I you know I like doing what I do but now I'm gonna be something that do now I'm gonna be doing something I really want to do and that is this, did I fix this yet? No, I haven't fixed that yet because I don't have any glass. Um, but now I'm going to be doing something that I really have wanted to do and that I, I guess, you know, I guess would be beneficial to me because the way my industry is changing in the, the media, oh, there's going to be, how about you, sir? How about you? Um, but there's going to be a lot of emphasis on, well, I guess I would say a lot of emphasis on the, the digital side of things, and this will, this is more of a, I need a torch here, more of a digital kind of job. So it will be something that I can put to good use now and put to good use in the future too. But, you know, I'm pretty thankful for that. I'm thankful that, um, I think I've got a family that really loves and appreciates me, despite the fact that sometimes I mention that, you know, my sister's a jerk or something like that, or I make fun of them. But then the way I only do it because I care. You know, I, I do I do like to tease people if I care about them. It's, that's just my personality, because I know I can get away with it. But, um, yeah, it's it's something, I guess, that, you know, I, I did get lucky in a lot of ways growing up the way where I grew up in the middle class um, grew up in a fairly diverse part of the uh, the world so that is you know it's something that is beneficial I was exposed to a lot of things when I was younger so I'm a lot more I guess you could say a lot more tolerant than some people I know, especially people that live around here sometimes it can be a little uh it can be a little testy about things, but I don't know if I showed this off yet. Um if I didn't I don't think I showed this off. But this is you can see this is the bedroom I worked on. I I made a Neo Gaff logo on the floor and I've just got my bed here. I'm gonna have to decorate these walls. I don't know what I'm gonna put up here yet, but I'll work on it. And right below that, this is going to be my uh, my potion brewing room. I've got all my stand. I'm missing a stand. Hmm. I'll have to make another stand. But I'll put the chests here. I'll move them from the uh, from the torch. Put the chests that have all the raw materials here. 
under the stairs. Yeah, I don't know what this room's gonna be, but one of these rooms, maybe this one or that one, is gonna have to be my enchanting room. And I'll finally get around to doing that eventually. No, wait, maybe it was gonna be this room with the enchanting room. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to remember what I was gonna do. But, you see, I've kinda did a little bit more of the floor here. I have to work out a pattern still. But, um, what should we do? Oh, I think we're gonna go check out. Uh, it's daytime, so I can't sleep it off. But I think we're gonna go check out uh, the second dome city. They've made some progress over there. So, yeah, we'll check that out. And I'll tell you what, I'll get my stuff and I'll head on over. And we'll be. Oh, <laughs> glitch. And we'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and we're here at the second dome city. I have not been here for a while but you can see who's been uh, working on it you know you got Charlie crazy uh, dry here you have Mac and Minsk myself and Kensui and here I think this is a uh, debate about Battlestar Galactica <laughs> And you can see they've kind of done a little bit of redecorating since we've last been here. I think it was, what episode it was? 34 was when we were here last. <laughs> but we've done a little bit of redecorating. Is this actually a working beacon? No, it's not working. Oh, goodness. This is money shot. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, goodness. Now I've, now I've got a snow block. Excellent. Oh, jeez. I'm going to put this back. Which one is the... It doesn't matter, I guess. I'll put this back. Oh, it, it's got a mushroom in it. Mushroom spawner in there, too. Great. I think Mac built that for him, if I remember right. So, you can see they've uh, definitely prettied up the place a little bit. It's looking beautiful, boys. Um, here's the sleep place. Okay. Here's <laughs> my bed. Okay. So, if you haven't seen it, last time I kind of showed you we were kind of hollowing things out. And they've done a little bit of progress since then. <laughs> oh goodness. They've really been working at it and I haven't really been helping at all because I've been busy with, with everything else. So, as I mentioned, I think we're going to gonna help them out a little bit here and work on where should we work because they got pretty far down they've already dug out a signif pretty significant chunk and yeah can break my picks is that my that's my breaking okay that's weird maybe I can uh I wonder now can I are these glitched ones can I combine them together I guess I can't. Oh, my goodness. That's, even, that's actually a better pick. You know, why don't I... Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. Why don't I just... Yeah, I'll, I'll grab the... Uh, fortune pick. No. Because I don't want to... I don't want to break that either. That's almost dead. So, I'll grab my Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 3 pick. And we'll probably just go do some mining out here, see if we can't find some ores and stuff and get our levels up to start putting all that uh all that brick all that uh stuff to good use. Oh, pig. Free pig. Alright. I hope I wasn't supposed to kill that pig, that would be pretty bad. Sorry. Um but yeah, we are uh process of digging this out and I think what they want to do is dig this all the way out. You see the purple rim there? I believe the goal is to dig all the way down with the purple to the purple rim as the edge. And then I think they're gonna are they gonna build <coughs> if um, my throat's a little, a little coarse today I guess. But are they gonna build all the way down? I don't know. 
I really don't know what, what Charlie is planning for this, but uh Yeah, looking uh looking pretty good so far. Sun is starting to set, that means all the all the nasty nasties are gonna show up. Which means I might have to go to bed here in a sec to make it go back to daytime <laughs> and I have to I have to kinda parkour my way over here. Did I mention before that uh I'm not very good at parkour? Yeah, because I'm not. I'm pretty terrible. But, yeah, let's, uh, let's head back in and go to sleep. In the, uh, the room of many lovers. Okay. There we are. And it should be daytime. Oh, Porky. No, not Porky. No! Porky, you will be missed. You will be missed, my friend. All right, so we are going uh going a little caving today, I guess. Not really. Is this caving? It's not really cave. It's more digging, mining. Eh, we'll find some caves. So let me talk about. I guess I could talk about what's been going on lately with me have been doing a little bit of the old playing uh, UHC I did a couple UHC games yesterday there was a big uh, big 24 hour UHC thing that the that the guys at the ultra hardcore uh, reddit were I have a feeling my mic's a little too close and it's going to be really loud so I'll have to turn all that down. But uh, they were all doing a big 24 hour thing. Do I have torches? I don't have torches. Crap. Um, they were all doing a big 24 hour, I guess, bunch of sessions yesterday and I was there for about three or four of them, and I recorded them all, so you can see that soonish. I think I have to, you know, still edit them, and get them up. Uh, a little bit of a hiccup there. Hiccup that became a burp. But I had to. Um, I had a pretty fun time. It was, you know, a little different. I'm not used to playing UHC much, but I wanted to get some playing in, want to get some practice in, I guess. Because I have, like I like I said, I don't play too much, so I'm a bit rusty, so I wanted to get some practice in with UHC. Ooh. How am I going to get down there without killing myself? I don't even have a, I forgot a water bucket, didn't I? Crap. Not good. So, I guess we're going to have to try and find a way down. Hmm. Just really light these things up. Let me go get some torches or make some torches or do something. One sec. Okay, we're back. I've got torches. And while I was making torches, that reminded me I wanted to show something off. Um, I have put together my first uh, diamond armor set in a long while. So you can see I've got hat, projectile projection, protection 4. The Nihon Tiger Fan Club T-shirt uh, with fire protection three, very nice. Uh, the Okami no Pantsu means, means God Pants in Japanese. For those of you who don't know the language, protection three, yeah. And then jumpy, 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 jump, blast protection four. And if you if you catch the reference to what uh, jumpy, 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 jump is, you are awesome. And I'm not gonna explain it if you don't because it's it's kind of a it's it's a reference that it's a reference that fans of a certain series by a certain uh YouTube commentator would get. Starts name starts with Z, it ends in Easto. Just saying. You might be able to figure out who it is with that clue. Oh, here we go. Down. But 
that is a first for me, so I'm going to have to work on those because some of the enchantments I don't like. Uh, I'll have to see if I can't find a few. Can't find a few other, you know, sets. Can't find some diamond or something that will get me some new enchantments. And what is this? Someone's got... That's odd. It's almost like it's the top of a dungeon, but there should be no other dungeons around here because this is like a pre... whatever the update was. Was it... Yeah, it was pre 1.0. And I think pre 1.0 maps or whatever whatever the update was where they changed the number of dungeons on a map. Um, this one only has one. And it's glitched because if you use Ender Pearls, uh, no, er, Eyes of Ender, it will lead you to the other locations of where they should be, and one of them's like right outside my fortress. But there's nothing there, so, you know, you can't actually get down there. Who built down here? What is this? This is strange. I'm, I'm confused. I'm going to go explore this. Let's see what this is. Don't do that. I don't, know if, I don't know if foot are falling boots. Do I have I don't have gravel either. Crap. Um I guess the best idea would be kinda see if I can drill over here. No. No. I'm gonna have to jump down there, aren't I? Oh my goodness, this must be the uh Is this the bottom? Yeah, it must be at the bottom of the, uh, I must have punched a hole all the way out through the bottom of the, uh, the dome base, I guess. Interesting. I didn't realize this was down here. And I guess you can't really see it from up top. Hmm. My only question is how do I get back up? I'm scared I'm going to be stuck down here forever. <laughs> Oh goodness, um, there's a lot of stuff spawning down here. So, yeah, I guess, I guess I'm going to try and get back up here and I don't have my ender pearls with me. Mm. This is, I have all those ender pearls and I can't get back up now. Crap. Oh, maybe up here. Maybe I can get up here. Maybe I can just bridge across. See. Ah, this is taking forever. Boop. Boop. Oh. Alright, cool. Alright, I'm back up. Nice. Yeah, that was the edge of the map. There's a pig. Hmm. Well, I'm going to try and look at where I am at least, and I'll try and check some, I'm going to check something out actually and figure out where the heck I am, and then I will be right back. Alright, and I'm back, and yeah, I just wanted to check out where something was, and I also wanted to see how much time I'd recorded. I've got about 30 minutes done so far, so i got about got about 5 more minutes left. Um, so... I guess what I can talk about is, I don't know, uh, talk about the flickering problem. It's not here because we're still on 1.4.2. Yeah, we're still uh, we're still waiting on the uh, the multiplayer server to update a little bit here. So it's gonna be gonna be a bit before we get to 1.44 and 1.45. Um, hmm. I am kind of running out of things to talk about right now because I talked about being thankful for stuff and I talked about oh my goodness oh hi hi I have meat <laughs> how did you get in here you need to go away okay he's gone is he gone he's gone yeah I'm just kind of smelting up some 
some leftover iron here to get some more experience. But, um, yeah, I guess the big thing to talk about would be uh, Minecon is coming up, and I'm not going to be there because, you know, I, I couldn't go to Paris, obviously, for a whole, you know, couple days. Let's see if I can find a place to put all this stone picked up at the furnace. But that's a very expensive trip, and that's, that's a trip that I can't possibly afford right now, especially... Oh, there we go. I can't afford right now. I'm not, you know, I'm not a big name, big shot who can make a million dollar, dollars, a billion, million dollars, you know, make a million, billion dollars. They make, you know, they make a decent living doing this probably. But even that, you know, obviously most people know it's probably a fleeting thing because who knows how long it's going to be popular. But yeah, mine guns coming up and I have no idea what they're going to announce at the, sh at the show, convention, whatever. Um, maybe they'll announce some new stuff. Maybe they'll announce adding birds into the game or something in like 1.6. Uh, I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. I would, I would like to see birds in the game. Birds, birds would be cool, especially now that they have bats. Um, you know, I've, I've long given up the idea of them doing a sky dimension. So, my my castle in, in the sky is going to have to wait. I'll just have to be satisfied with building something in the end eventually. Did I, did I just tip my hand to what I might do? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but, um... I think... I think, really, it's not going to be a lot of... A lot of news. I wonder if I got another star already. I hope they didn't just spawn one in. But I think that's something we'll see more of. I think we'll see a lot more. Speaking of the Wither boss, I think we'll see a lot more boss mobs. Maybe they'll announce one at Minecon. You know, we've got the Wither boss. We've got the Ender Dragon, and you know, maybe they could announce something that has to do with the water. I don't know, that'd be cool. That would be pretty cool. You know, like some kind of sea monster. A sea monster would be pretty awesome, and you run into him every once in a while. And he's, yeah, but be, that would be cool. I would like to see more, more water-related stuff, because I think right now, what a lot of people would like is, you know, more water mobs, like sharks. Sharks would be cool. Or, I don't know. I don't know what other water mobs. Man, uh... I was going to say manta ray, but that would be kind of... I'd rather see sharks before that. Maybe... No, not dolphins. Screw dolphins. Nobody cares about dolphins. Um, not saying that we don't want them be, to be slaughtered but, or anything like that. Of course not, but, you know, dolphins are kind of... I would rather see sharks before dolphins. Sharks with... Uh, that's what it'll be. It'll be a shark with a laser beam attached to its head. <laughs> will be the... That's... that's You heard it here first. The, uh, the new... 1.5 update boss is a shark with a freaking laser beam attached to its head. Genius. I am such a genius. I I know I am onto you, Moyang. I am onto your game. But, um, yeah, at this point, I really can't think of anything that I really would want to see in 1.5. It's not already in the game that wouldn't require, you know, having to bring in the entire mod, basically, like you know, Thomcraft is something I like, you know, industrial craft, redstone power, stuff that's in the Feed the Beast stuff, you know, that's already out there pretty much. Um, it's available in the, uh, obviously in the Feed the Beast pack or as, you know, individual mods, and if it's something that you really want, you can already go and kind of add it to your game. So, I really don't see, I guess, a, re a real reason to push for adding that in because it's all really complex too and the thing about Minecraft is you have to kind of keep it simple and you have to add enough that people want to keep com coming back and playing for the challenge but you don't want to make it to the point where someone can't pick up and play it and still have fun and yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep real quick here so it's daytime but you want it to be 
you want to kind of walk that line between being a challenge and being a great exploratory tool and a fun game to play and you also want it to be something that you can kind of do all this complex stuff in like you know huge redstone calculators or you can build just a little house and build yourself a little village and play the game as it was meant to be played basically but what's this is that a pig with that's a pig with the saddle oh my god it's a, it's a challenge it's a boat challenge I might have to make a special special video here. So I'll tell you what. Why don't we leave it here and we'll pick up here in episode thirty eight. We'll start off with a a little bit of a challenge here with the boat. So I will uh actually I'm gonna check out the pigs too next time, so we'll leave it here for now. Um God dry's got his, his mushrooms up there already. <laughs> but um Thanks again for watching, everybody. Be sure, you know, to do the whole like, subscribe, favorite thing, blah, 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 blah. You know, I've, you know, your favorite YouTubers say it all the time. So I'll, I'll just leave it at that. And as always, good luck, good mining, have fun, and I'll see you guys next time when we take on the boat challenge. Bye now.